Welcome to this vlog. Now, I don't even know how to announce this, guys. This is huge. Now, you know that Virgin Galactic is one of the most recent big, big investments and it's very well covered here on this channel. But, you know, I thought after the huge success of Tesla Sundays and Beyond Meat Mondays, we need something, something new. So, with pleasure, I introduce you to Virgin Galactic Fridays. Enjoy. For those who are new here have the unique opportunity to smash that subscribe button and I expect from every viewer out there to smash that like button because this content is totally for free for you and it takes hours and hours and hours and hours and hours and hours to produce and therefore a like is the at least what you can contribute and i'm appreciating that you are viewing this you know we had tesla sundays huge success beyond me monday huge success to educate but also give you the latest information on each of those investments and also these companies that will change the world now we are talking now virgin galactic so every friday you will have a virgin galactic fridays episode fresh here on this channel and this will sound summarize the most important news but also some news that maybe you know are really hard to get because there's a really big research included that I'm doing every single time for any of my investments and moreover we will have a lot of fun so I hope you will join and those are the topics today so first of all we will look at the Virgin Galactic stock and the performance last week then we will dive into an ex-employee statement which will show us how the culture and the work environment at Virgin Galactic is then we will talk about the Richard Branson stocks sale that pressured the stock a little bit this week. Moreover, we will talk about the NASA deal and we will talk about the space momentum. So all in all, it's something that you are not willing to miss. So let's directly dive into the stock and uh, that you can follow what I'm doing here on my phone. I will just put it here. So as you can see, I have a very volatile stock week here in front of my eyes. And this is probably because growth stocks are in general quite volatile. This is totally normal, guys. Okay, so don't panic. And if you invested into Virgin Galactic, I invested into this company because I think that they will change the world. They have a beautiful business model and they have a beautiful management team and a quite impressive experience. And the product is absolutely stunning and so unique and a monopoly out there in the whole world. So as you can see, the stock week started actually quite neutral the first two days then we had a quite off uh, jump on the first of june this was because of the recent space momentum that we will talk later on in this vlog as well then we had the huge drop guys because of the news of richard branson's sales and then you see quite fast the stock then gained also and i'm very curious how the stock week of space the Virgin Galactic holding will end. Now, this is very interesting and this sounds a little bit crazy, but I would love that the stock crashes, okay? I would love that the stock go down because I love to buy this kind of undervalued stocks for dirt cheap money, guys. And this is not for me 16, that's like 
undervalued but not like super cheap right i would love to the stock to see at seven or eight or nine or anything below 10 would be absolutely insane to load up this stock same like i thought you know i was buying a tesla at 300 to 250 and then it went 178 and i thought like wow this is this is dirt cheap and I bought a lot of stocks and uh, you know the rest is history however I believe that you know that's a quite interesting week and nothing special in terms of the stock movement still very volatile the one day it can be plus eight percent the other day you know we saw that the stock was Monday pre-market 13% up so you see the stock want to go up but there is a very important part here so there is that the stock not like all other stocks mostly gained or regained their latest highs this stock actually didn't went back to 40 or 37. this means that there's a lot of potential for the stock still out there and i wouldn't miss it so if you're an investor into a stock i prefer always to really deep dive into information about the company the management and so on so i was looking for some information on reddit which is sometimes a very interesting forum like blog like entertainment site on the internet where you can discuss with different kind of peoples around different topics and sometimes people are creating topics that they want to talk on let's say tesla investors or ebay or whatever it is and there is a group in the virgin galactic space so the whole group the whole forum is talking about virgin galactic and then by chance i found a statement that would make every investor very very happy it give us a glimpse what does actually happen behind the scenes when we don't see any test flights or any marketing or PR or whatsoever, you know, then you read this and you say, you know, considering that this can be also false and, you know, false informations. However, you know, I think this is happening behind the scenes because otherwise Richard Branson and Shamas and all these big guys wouldn't really go into this stock and, and be behind it so much. So I think there is some truth to that. And uh, let me let me read it to you. So he's writing former Virgin Galactic employee here. The team at Virgin Galactic was, is by far the hardest working and most dedicated group of people that I ever worked with in nearly 20 years as an aircraft maintainer slash maintenance manager. I'm talking about 100 plus hours weeks missing their children's birthday parties and weekend soccer games, making all of these sacrifices because they believe in the cause. And this is something that is very typical for Richard Branson's companies. He is very much treating the employees very, very well. And therefore, they are contributing their time and their efforts and emotion and passion into those companies. And therefore, so many Virgin Galactic experiences are for the client so brief taking. And let's let's take it further. Making all of these sacrifices because they believe in their cause. Mike Moses is a talented and brilliant leader. And if anyone can lead them to achieve their goals it is him if they are taking longer than expected it is because they absolutely cannot afford another accident and they understand the bigger picture in that they are part of the select few a handful of companies who are basically responsible for developing spaceflight industry standards that are likely to govern the first generation cosmical space and beyond there are many difficult technical challenges they are facing this is space flight after all but between the engineers the pilots and the mechanics there are no hurdles too high and those guys will get it done so something like this you wish to have in every single company there is a nice saying 
there is the one of the biggest billionaires that is very known for going into companies and you know selling some parts of it or or firing stuff and i watched one recent interview by carl Icahn. he said you know he bought companies where he saw that he don't know half of the stuff what they are doing so he had to fire them which at the first part or first times he had to execute this was very hard right but over time he developed something that you know he said you have to go in company and really see what the people are doing as bigger the company gets as more ineffective it gets so you have to really look into it and be no ashamed to get rid of people and if you're reading something by this by an ex-employee considering that this is a credible source then we are definitely at a very interesting company that's working very very hard to make this happen behind the scenes there was quite a downturn this week for Virgin Galactic stock as the news broke that Virgin Galactic founder, the most entrepreneur <laughs> and risk taker that I know is out there, Sir Richard Branson, and selling 12 million more shares. He sold already a couple of them beforehand and now selling even more. Now, if you ever were entrepreneur, I know it because I founded already a couple of companies out there. But if you know how it is, it's like having a baby. And Virgin Galactic, the stock or the baby is currently very rich, cash rich in terms of they have enough cash, they don't need any support, they're having billions of dollars of reservations already and they are doing pretty well and in the first stages. And there are the other babies of Sir Richard Branson that are suffering right now, like the Virgin Airlines. And this is where he is putting his money. Don't you know, overreact because he still will have 77 million shares and be main stakeholder in Virgin Galactic. Therefore, I believe that, you know, it's maybe a good opportunity to load up during those times if he will sell because the statement was he might sell 12 million more shares. So I'm very curious how this will play out. But definitely, guys, three words, don't panic. The NASA deal. Now, something that I find is a little bit understatement and is a little bit in the news very low ranked because it was somewhere around the Q1 earnings, so it got a little bit under. But what I think the deal between NASA and Virgin Galactic is really important because not only that this experience of being in space is Virgin Galactic missions, but we also will see supersonic flight. So we will reduce the flight time from, for example, New York to London by going very, very fast <laughs> over the Atlantic and then making this trip within 90 minutes. Can you imagine how this will change how people will travel between continents? This will be absolutely brief taking. Now, however, this deal will be possible by Virgin Galactic as well as NASA working together and the very main point here is that Virgin Galactic will be able to access technologies, know-how, tools, what NASA over 50 years and billions of dollars spent developed. So to achieve this mission, they have had the huge knowledge and experience pool of NASA, which is, I think, really impressive because this is something like if a company could tap in to all of the knowledge of the whole car industry and use them for their new product. Now, this is really strong, guys. So I believe this is something understated in the media and I think this can be a very big deal. This is obviously possible because the CEO of Virgin Galactic is ex-chief of staff at NASA and therefore, you know, there was some connection being pulled and this deal happened, which I think it's very positive and bullish for Virgin Galactic stock. So if you made it until here, 
on this last part of the vlog, I would like to personally thank you and shake your hand. Thank you very much. So actually, I would like to ask you one more thing before leaving, and this is the like button. Smashing the like button is a small step for you, but a huge step for humanity and my channel. So do this, please. And I will dive now into something that I call space momentum, because currently we see SpaceX, huge, huge momentum and news, right? With the first attempt, everyone was like, can they do it? What, what went wrong? What, what is it going to happen? And then it had to be rescheduled. So another day and another day exposure was there, you know, can they make it? And everything went well. Plus there is also the Space Force on Netflix, which seem about, you know, being very an interesting series and comedy, but this kind of news, series, movies, all of that is contributing that space actually is closer than most of us are thinking and is more exposure for a company that want to sell tickets to going to space as better for the stock finally. So therefore, I hope you really enjoyed the very first episode of Virgin Galactic Fridays and for all this Galactica out there, if you don't follow the other vlogs and live streams that I'm doing here every single day, then make sure to switch on next Friday for another one.